Hi everyone. Now in this session, let us see one more example on Mealy machine. Here the problem is construct Mealy machine that prints A whenever the sequence 0, 1 is encountered in input binary string. Okay, you first try to understand the problem. If the input is a binary string, okay, if the input is a binary string, binary means input data will be in the form of zeros and ones only. So, like that, if we have an input of a binary string like the 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, like this, this will be the input. When in this input sequence, 0, 1 is encountered, if 0, 1 comes anywhere in this sequence, then it should print the letter A. So, like this, we need to construct a finite state machine called FSM that to a Mealy machine to achieve this object. Okay. So, if we have an input string, binary string. When this input binary string, whenever 0, 1 comes, then it should print A. To achieve this object, we need to construct a Mealy machine. Okay. Now, let us see how to construct this Mealy machine to achieve this particular object. Okay. Now, here the first step is we have to construct a deterministic finite automata. Okay. So, what is a deterministic finite automata? Now, if it is a finite state machine which consists of only the states as well as inputs but no outputs are represented in this finite state machine that is what called deterministic finite automata. First let us draw this DFA based on our object and then we will represent what are the outputs or uh, what are the objectives which we want to meet. Okay. So, here first what is our objective? We need to take the input sequence and then we have to print A. So, for that, here what are the inputs here? Inputs which consist of a binary string. So, that is why uh, input set of uh, data will be in the form of zeros and ones. And what is our output? Output will be either A or B. Okay. So, I am not taking only A because if 0, 1 sequence is obtained, we have to print A other than we need to print some other, right? So, that is why that data will be, I have taken as B. If 0, 1 sequence is encountered in the given input string, it prints A, otherwise it prints B, okay? It is clear. So, now here this 0, 1 sigma shows the input set of data and this delta shows the output set of data which consists of A, comma B. Input binary string consists of zeros and ones output may be either A or B. Okay. Now, based on this, I am going to construct our deterministic finite automata. So, here initially, I am st the initial state of the machine is A. Okay. Now, initially it is reset. Here, what I have drawn here, I am representing only inputs, not the outputs. So, what this uh, state machine shows when 1 is the input to this particular state, it will be in this particular state only. So, it is self state and 0 is the input for this particular state, then it goes to state B. Okay. Now, we are at this state B when there are two possible inputs. Input may be either 0 or 1. Now, we are at this particular state. At this particular state, if 0 is the input, it is in that particular state. And if 1 comes here as input to the state B, then it moves to state C. Okay. Again, we are at this state C. There are again two possible states. It may be either 0 or 1. If 0 is the input, then it has to go to state B. And if 1 is the input, it has to goes to state A. Like this I have drawn. Why I have drawn the state machine like this is, if we have a sequence that 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 like this. Okay. So, initially when the first bit is 0, now I am at this state A. The state machine is at state A. If 0 is the input, this is the input string. Okay. If 0 is the bit as the input, 
comes to the state A, then if 0 is the input, it goes to state B. Okay. Now, where we are? Now, we are at state B here because of this input. Okay. Now, initially at state B, A, then if 0 is the input, it moves to state B. Now, we are at this state B, then the input to this state B is 1. So, what is the input uh, when 1 comes as input to the state B? It moves to state C. So, now here we are at this state. Now, when C is the state, now what is the input here? 1 is the input. Then, if 1 is the input to the state C, then it moves to state A. Understand? So, why I am directing to this is... When 0, 1 is encountered, 0, 1 is encountered, then it prints something else. So, for that what I have to do, 0, 1 comes here, I need to write the output as A. Okay, then 0, 1 comes, then it prints A. Then automatically we are at this state, again there may be a chance of getting 0 or 1. If 0 comes... Then immediately after that if 1 is 1 may be there then again it prints A. Okay. So otherwise if 1 comes as input to this state C then 1 after it goes to A. Again there may be a chance of getting 0 and 1. So that's why if it is 0 goes to B and then if 1 is uh, the input then it goes to A. So like that we have to complete the sequence for any kind of binary data. If 0, 1 we are getting, then it should print A. So, like that we have to represent the output. Understand? So, for each and every state, there are two possible inputs. If 0 is the input, what should be happen? Whether it should stay in that particular state or it should move to the other state. That's what we have to clearly indicate in the state diagram. Okay? So, here let us uh, see with the output. So, clearly we are constructing melee machine for the same diagram. So, here now we can design this melee machine from the basic DFA, whatever we have drawn. Understand? So, we need to complete the sequence. For that only I am taking. So, here I am considering the output only at this particular state as A because whenever the 0, 1 sequence is encountered, it need to print A. Otherwise, it should print the other. Okay. So, for that, I am taking the input string as 0, double, 1, 0. This is the input string. Okay. This is the input string for this particular melee machine. Now, we are at initially at this state A. We are initially at this state A. Okay. So, when 0 comes as input, when 0 comes as input, we are initially at this state A. When 0 is the input, where it goes? A, when 0 is the input, it goes to B. So, here I am writing, it goes to B. But what is the output? Output should be B only. Because when 0, 1 is encountered, then only it should print A. Otherwise, it should print B. Okay. Now, we are at this state B. Then, what is the second bit? 1 is the input. So, upon B state, we give 1 as input. Where it moves? For B... If we give 1 as input, it moves to state C by printing output A. So, that's why I am getting the output A. So, for 0, 1, we have D A sequence. What is our object when in the given input sequence, if 0, 1 is encountered, it should print A. Otherwise, it should print B. Okay. Now, let's go for the third bit. Now, where we are? We are at state C. Now, the third bit input is 1. Now, we are at state C. If the input is 1, then where it goes? It goes to A by printing B. Okay. So, after that, we have another digit called 0. Now, where we are? We are at state A. We are at this state A. With what input? With what input? 0. Then 0 goes as input to the state A. It moves to B. Then it prints B. So that's why for 0, double, 1, 0 input sequence, what is the data printing? We are printing B, A, B, B. Whenever 0, 1 sequence is encountered, it prints A only. Otherwise, it prints 
B. So like that we can print the Mellie machine. Understand? So a Mellie machine which consists of states. Whereas outputs are associated with their inputs. So clearly we have to identify what is our object. Based on that object only we have to construct the state machine. Either it is more machine or Mellie machine. Okay. I hope you understand. Thank you.